Now Alejandro says, is cassette, is cassette still viable in the streets? The answer is, is yeah. So to me, in the scoring system, cassette and free coaster tweak the scores. A free coaster is gonna make the bike higher scoring in street, but that's just to give like subjectivity to something that's not so subjective. The real thing that'll happen, you know, with your free coaster, your cassette is just your style of riding. So you look at how Logan Martin rides park versus how Pat Casey rides park. Um, you, they're both park riding, but you'll see a different style from Pat Casey because he has that free coaster. So now you're going to see Pat uh, 540 a spine to fakie double whip where you won't see Logan doing that, um, but you can see a lot more, uh, I don't know, I'd say Logan's style is just so different because of the cassette, Pat's style is so different because of the free coaster, and that's just park riding. There are lots of street riders who will rock with a cassette, and street riders, riders who will rock with a free coaster. Uh, the, the difference that you're gonna notice is their style. So the free coaster guys are gonna do more, say, fakie manuals, um, you, just different things like that, and the cassette guys will have their own unique style too. So what it's, what I think is important to do for everybody is if you can start out on on one or the other and at some point try the other one because you don't know what you don't know. So if you ride free coaster your whole life, you don't know that, hey, maybe you really enjoy cassette. You, you won't know until you try it out. And so just start with one and then switch later on. But anyway, to answer your question, cassette's still viable in streets for sure. I, uh, if you're, but if your style is huge 180s, you probably want to have a reliable free coaster so you don't have to worry about um, pedaling backwards. So you, you buy these things to adjust your bike to fit your style or fit your desired style. Does that make any sense? So if you like talking about and learning about BMX, join the BMX Nerd Discord. The link to the Discord is in the description. It's a huge online community with over 400 members. Every single person in there loves BMX just as much as you and I. It's a good place to post pictures of your bike, ask questions, post clips of your riding, and do anything BMX related with a BMX community that loves riding. So click that link, join the Discord. If you enjoyed this video and you got any value out of it, consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps me out. We'll see you guys in the next video.